Thank you, Byron. So actually, Kevin, I'm, I'm really excited about tonight's tip yes. because you are going to teach us how to stymie Big Brother from spying on us at our most vulnerable moment when we're speeding through red lights. Well, I want to tell you, I want to tell everybody home, we don't recommend this to anybody because you actually, besides breaking the law in some states, you actually are endangering other people's lives. So right. we don't recommend this home, but the fact that it's a little shady, it's a little underground, the D-tip's got to bring it to you. Exactly. So uh, let, let's, let's show you what we got going on today. If you don't know, they're installing the systems all over the states. They're the red light systems that actually take the picture when you run a red light. Yes. And then they actually mail it to you. Have you had, you've had this happen. I haven't had it happen. It's happened to friends. I've seen the pictures, mm -hmm. but it's very disturbing. Well, how do the how do the red lights work? Here's first what of happens. All. This is the most advanced uh, thing we could get here. We have these little cars here. Let's say a car is to enter the intersection here, underneath this pad here. Picture this. That is actually a metal detector. So the second this car crosses the intersection, it's going to be picked up, and then a, a actual flash is yeah, going to go off. Like so. Big Brother's a. So they're going to take a flash just like that. They're going to take a flash actually of the driver and the front plate. So what you're going to want to do is somehow protect that plate, actually cover it up, make sure that, you know, they can actually get that image. How do we do that, Kevin? Let me show you how. <laughs> We've got a couple little products here. This actually is called the Phantom Plate Photo Shield Cover. And what it is, is it's a lens inside, actually this goes right over your plate just like that. And if you'll notice what happens is when we rotate this, you're actually, uh, you can't see too well, there we go. It's actually going to blur the actual plate number there. So that, that's pretty cool. So when you're driving through the intersection, that flash goes off, and the, the, it actually captures that image. They're not going to be able to read the plate. They can't send you the ticket. It's like pixelated. Yeah. Also, we got another one, too. This one's pretty cool, too. Check this one out. This one uh, is called the Phantom Plate uh, Reflective Cover. And what happens here is uh, you'll notice, you can't even see the plate there. There's a bunch of little, what they, what they like to call the light reflecting crystals. <laughs> yes. You've got something for us that you're not recommending yourself. What yeah. is it? We have another uh, little product here. This is the photo blocker as seen on TV, uh, tested by the Denver Police Department on Fox News. And actually, the Denver Police said it's surprisingly effective. And uh, what this does is, uh, check this out. This is uh, actually, here's two, let me show you the before and after. This is the treated plate here. Notice how much glossier this plate is than the one next to it. It's kind of hard to see there, but it's actually like a lacquer. So what you can do is you can take this here and just spray this across the plate just like so. And it's going to create, uh, see, a nice, a nice little shiny finish on the outside there. And it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. You don't want to do it indoors. You don't want to do it indoors. You can get cancer. <laughs> but uh, it's going to create a nice little shiny plate. And what's going to happen is that when the, when the actual flash takes place, it's going to reflect that. So it's going to, you ever taken a digital camera, aimed it at a mirror, taken the flash in the mirror, and then you see like that, uh, you Have know. Have I ever? Yeah. <laughs> and you just get a flash. You're like, where am I? Exactly. And that's exactly exactly what's going to happen on the plate. This is not illegal that we know of right now. All these products are available on the internet and uh, just something I want to let you know about. Well, the thing I want to point out is like, just so you know, the red light cameras they actually have reduced a lot of, a lot of collisions. However, they are, they are controversial because, and here's why, private companies actually own all the cameras. So what ends up happening is a lot of times the companies themselves get paid per ticket. Like in San Diego, Lockheed Martin owned the systems. For every ticket that you got, Lockheed Martin got 70 bucks. So a lot of the citizens were like, wait a second, is this for our safety or is it just to make Lockheed Martin rich? <laughs> so in that case, I'm like, screw Lockheed Martin. You seem a little pissed <laughs> off right now. <laughs> Let's use it. There's something going on here. <laughs> Did you get a ticket or something? There's something. No, but I got, I got cited for not having a front plate because of these damn cameras, ah. even though I've been driving around for years without one, and I know it's just to enrich the state, and it makes me mad. It's all coming out now. But we don't recommend this at all, yes. and uh, <laughs> if you want to find out more about it. You asked me if you could have this after the show. <laughs> Just because I'm not irate. Right. Anyway, <laughs> if you guys want to find out about these uh, products, go to our website, techtv.com slash unscrewed. Check it out. Red light cameras may have met their match. The 11 News Eye team has discovered a controversial product that's supposed to shield your license plate from the camera's eye. Certainly it's got a lot of attention. People are buying it. Tonight, I team reporter David Collins asks, does it work? Is it legal? And will it put your safety at risk? They loom over busy intersections, poised like ray guns to zap the tags of drivers who run red lights, taking cash in a flash and screaming, gotcha. Baltimore City has 47 red light cameras, more than any other city in the entire country, taking in more than $23.3 million since 1999 and forcing some people to find inventive ways to beat the system. 
This is one of them. A clear spray designed to blind the cameras. Photo blocker is supposed to make license plates so reflective, the tag becomes unreadable. Going through these intersections. The man behind this red light camera sign doesn't want police to know who he is. But he says he's one satisfied customer. How do you know it works? I've seen the cameras go off right behind me, and uh, from that, I've never received anything, so I guess no news is good news. The I-Team contacted many jurisdictions in the state which use red light cameras, hoping one would put photo blocker to the test. But all declined. The Denver, Colorado Police Department wasn't afraid to test photo blocker. They used it against one of their speed cameras. Based on the photo finish, the product works. TV Channel 10 in Australia also tested photo blocker. This is a number plate photograph before photo blocker. This is it after being sprayed. State lawmakers outlaw plate covers, but the statute doesn't specifically address spray. Is it legal or illegal? Uh, we are not sure. We have not had an interpretation of the statute as of yet from the courts. The company that makes and markets photo blocker says it doesn't encourage anyone to run red lights. It's for the people that accidentally get caught or are accidentally speeding. They don't necessarily do it. But even if it is outlawed here in Maryland, it would be nearly impossible to detect. At $30 a can, the makers of photo blocker are cashing in. Since red light cameras have become a traffic control fixture, the business of battling Big Brother has grown. For the 11 News IT, I'm David Collins.